Short helps help you get to your destination quicker. That's not only true in travel, it's true in video editing. PowerDirector has the slower shortcuts to speed up editing and I use them all the time. So today, I'm going to show you three types of shortcuts that will change how you edit your videos in PowerDirector 365. Since you might be short on time, I'm going to get on with it. We'll start off with import shortcuts. These shortcuts help you get your files into the program lickety split. The first import shortcut lets you select individual files. So if you go to your keyboard and you select control Q, it'll open up an import window. You can then go ahead and select your clips and I'm going to hold down the control key and do use the left mouse button to select multiple clips here. And then you can click on open and they're right there, ready to go for your video. Now, the next import shortcut brings entire folders into the program. So if we go ahead and hit control W on our keyboard, it'll open up an import window, but this time it's selecting a folder. And right now it's selecting this video folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and left click on select video. And now you'll see there is a video folder within the media window. If I left click on that, it'll open up that folder and all the files that were in it. Now you're all organized and ready to edit. Next, we'll go into save shortcuts. These shortcuts save your project while editing so you don't lose any of your work. The first save shortcut overwrites any previous saves you've made to your project. So if you're editing, you're moving along, you wanna save, go ahead and hit Control S and then it'll bring up a window that you can go ahead and save the file. You give it a file name, and I'm gonna leave this one, let's just call it test PDS, and I click on save, and now that file is saved to that location that you selected on your computer. Now, if you keep editing and you wanna save it again and overwrite the previous save, you just hit Control S again, and it doesn't bring up the window to name it because you've already named it, and it's just gonna overwrite it. If you hit Control S again, as you're editing along and doing your thing, it'll save it again and overwrite that previous file. Now, the next save shortcut creates a new save every time, so you have multiple saved versions of your project. This is an option that I always use, and this is the one that I recommend you use as well, so that if something gets um, corrupted in one file, you have a bunch of other files that you can go back to and you don't have to start all over. Yes. Then you'll see that we're going to save as. So this time, since I already have one called test, maybe I'll call this one test2 PDS, and I'll click on save. Now, I, let's say I'm editing alone, I'm doing my thing, and I'm like, hey, I want to save another version of this project. Now, I, let's say I'm editing alone, I'm doing my thing, and I'm like, hey, I want to save another version of this project. I'll do control shift S again, and it's gonna ask me to name it every time because you should name it something different. And this time, I'll call it control, uh, test three, and I'll click on save. And now I have three versions of the same project saved at different times while I'm doing my work. Now, your project is protected from itself. I have one more shortcut type to share with you, but before I hit you up with the next one, don't shortchange your brother, please. Click the like button, subscribe to Power Director University, and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. Now let's talk preview shortcuts. These shortcuts allow you to preview what's on your timeline so you can review what you've created. The first shortcut plays and pauses the video on the timeline. So if you hit your space bar on the keyboard, it's gonna play. If you hit your space bar again, it will pause. Now, the next shortcut lets you play the video on the timeline at faster speeds. If you hit Control F on your keyboard, it'll play fast. And the more you hit Control F, the faster it will play. Now, once you press it the fifth time, it brings it back to the regular speed. Now you can zip, zap, zoom, all over the timeline. If you need to speed up or slow down your videos, check out this tutorial. 
Don't forget to subscribe and purchase PowerDirector using the links in the video description to help the channel stay alive.